chuck a proximity mine in the lower doorway just in case they do uh, get over it. Keep proximity mine active as well. Right, there's a proximity mine. on the lower end that uh, inside the little boiler room there's a proximity mine on the doorway just as they first come out and i'm going to put a proximity mine on these stairs as well doorway as a, as the shield for this direction Their cars go. Shooters down on one side of the chopper. Right, they're going up on the tower, so hopefully that means they're not able to get underneath. Unless they're just completely glitching through. Sneaky bugger is taking cover just below that thing. shot I take and it's like a reload and this goes wrong uh, this exact same uh, setup it, like we have to do it again so far so good it's going good 
So far, so good. It's going good. Okay. <laughs> English me. English mo my main manly. Oh, we got a sniper up on the upper roof right in front of us there. So, yeah, nice one. Oop, I'll get a chopper. One shot, one shooter down. Side's clear for a little bit. Okay, going back to that side. Actually, I'm not going to blow those cars up, I'm going to use them as a bit of a uh, blockade. Gathering down by the area you park them cars up. Chopper. Right, armor up. For the armor. Two minutes, we'll turn off. going down. Nice. Minute 11 wants to go. Chop 
us up. I use this doorway to shield me from this one again. They're fine, they're taken care of. It's quite good that you can use this door to walk both sides. Two, one. Fanito. Fucking at last. Well, <laughs> I had nearly tripped over one of my own proximity mines. That's pretty good. Well, I can honestly say this didn't take quite as many attempts as the Quartz Museum did, but uh, I'm definitely glad to have this one in the bag. Take some of that. And they're off again. 